Anything can happen. State legislators are continuing funding to allow another expansion of the Williston water treatment plant. Money for the project would be part of the $40 million that the Western Area Water Supply Authority is expecting to receive from the state in the current biennium. The water plant west of Williston was upgraded in recent years to treat 21 million gallons of water per day. The new expansion would push that to 35 million gallons. The higher capacity will help serve customers that are being added to WAS every year. Jim Olson reports on one area that has just been added to the WAS system. The dishwasher at Tobacco Gardens Cafe gets a workout every day. Um, this runs probably about 100 times a day, at least at a minimum. And that's one big reason Peggy Helen Sauce is excited about the new supply of water to fuel her cafe's kitchen. For us, it will mean that our appliances won't get um, destroyed by that hard water film. The restaurant and homes and lots here on the south shore of Lake Sakakawea are being connected to the Western Area Water Supply Project. Their water was was quite poor. I know they had to soften quite a bit. Weston Magruder is the engineer in charge of WAS work. He showed me on the project's map where well, even more hookups are happening this year. White Earth Bay, we got about 40 users in there. We have Mackenzie County, the System 1, the Spring Creek area. Same with uh, this east, east White Earth area. But it's not just the hookups to relatively small population areas happening now. Some big transmission uh, improvements down in McKenzie County, uh, two million gallon water, uh, water storage tank going up uh, right by Arnegard. That'll help service Arnegard, uh, Watford City, and then rural water residents for uh, McKenzie County. Was reports close to 60,000 people now get water from the project, and there are still many construction seasons to go before the mission of providing quality water to the northwest quarter of the state is met. I'd say there's a good, good 10 years of, of some major projects left. That will include more big projects like another expansion of the Williston water plant and lots of little success stories like tobacco gardens. And I appreciate that very much. Jim Olson, KX News. The WAS project is funded through appropriations from the state, through sales of water to the oil industry, and through user fees. A Sawyer man is